Kelsey growing up was like this little scrawny, tiny runt of a of a being when she start, first started playing netball and um, although she was tiny in stature, she still had a lot of skill and was very, very talented. I think the way Kelsey plays netball is it's a never die attitude. She'll always go out there and give her all um, until the last whistle, whether she's out on the court, which most of the time she is, or if she's on the sidelines yelling and screaming to get everyone over the line. But I think she's just, yeah, never die. And I think that's been her whole career. For me, the biggest thing for her was was going over to the Sunshine Coast Lightning um, and kind of stepping into her own set of wings and out of maybe my shadows. Obviously we'd both been playing at the Vixens and I'll never forget the phone call when she called. I was actually doing a drive day or something down in Phillip Island doing hot laps, fun times. And she called and was like, oh, Noling Taru has just called me and um, oh my goodness, what should we do? And I was like, oh, we're going. I was like, you're going. I'm going to Collingwood, let's just let's just do. And I think that was probably a huge thing for her to make that call to go interstate. And it's been, as I said, it's been a pleasure to kind of see her grow. She has, she has experienced a lot of things um, and she's probably experienced everything from injury to premierships to not so successful teams. So she really does have that um, wealth of knowledge and can be someone for any of us to kind of lean on um, in times that we probably need more guidance as well. So she really does um, have experience from all different aspects of her netball career because it has been yeah, a crazy journey for her. When people say, what is your greatest highlight? I think I, now that I have had time to reflect, I go that stand in that centre circle, look down the line and see her on the transverse line. I'll never forget that first centre pass against the Vixens. And we had a little giggle and a smile and it was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe we're finally here. Um, when we first even stepped in the doors at Magpies and we did a few training sessions, we had a few heated moments here and there at training, like that's too far and don't do this. And everyone was like, oh my goodness, what have we done? And we're like, we're just gonna have a different relationship to other people, but it's definitely grown stronger. And it's been, it was awesome to be able to actually get to see her work at her craft and maybe be there to add in a little bit of guidance, but also her see me hone in on the way that I went about um, being an elite athlete as well. I think I'm glad I'm not a wing defence and I'm glad I don't have to play on her. And you even hear Brazzy say there's no one in the league um, like Kelsey. So she finds it hard training on her because each week she goes out and plays on people that are nothing like her. She really is one of the hardest workers, if not the hardest worker um, I've ever seen. And yeah, off court, on court, she's always an option for anyone on court. And off court pre-season, she'll always be doing extras and really setting the standards for our whole team. I'm just so proud of her and love her so much for being able to do what she's done in amongst all the adversity um, and still never lose sight of who she really is and who she wanted to become in the process.